Hello everyone, this is going to be The Void, and in this game I'm going to be playing on my main account, and this video is going to be a continuation from my last video. Now, you gotta imagine uh, the situation here, this I, uh, uh, this guy Faker t was talking to me just as I was done publishing the, my previous set of 11 videos, you know, so the video of uh, me wrecking Hellhound had only like I published it like one second ago, so it's impossible for a hellhound to have seen this. And I happen to be on my Smurf account here. Uh, yeah, I happen to be on my Smurf or, or on my main account here, and uh, I just happen to have this ally called Faker. He uh, is most likely a Smurf account because he's way too good for the amount of games he has and stuff. But uh, yeah, in this game, I'm going to be talking a lot to other people, like Grim Reaper and stuff. So then I'll just stand still and do nothing, you know. But anyways, here I'm facing off Hellhound again, and I'm, I'm like, well, I'm on my Smurf, you know, I'm on my Smurf, oh, I'm a, well, what am I talking about, I'm on my main, so, like, eh, nothing, uh, I mean, it's just gonna be a normal game, you know, it's just gonna be, like, friendly stuff and all that stuff, you know, sure, I forgot to say GOHF, but hey, neither did they, did they so, yeah. Starts off, uh, I was a bit late in taking my tower, because I was, you know, doing stuff. So, yeah. But anyways, here the j game just goes on, and I was like, yeah, this guy's Hellhound. He's allied with this guy called Barcode, and this guy, if you meet him, uh, you should prepare for double mothership and temple zealots. He really likes to uh, do that. This game, he went uh, Immortals, but yeah, just to a friendly reminder. From a friendly reminder, he's pretty easy to counter. Same goes for Hellhound, by the way. If he really, if although I think only if he wants to, because if he wants to, he'll just uh, if he really wants to win, he'll just go Battle Cruiser, and that's exactly what he did this game. And I knew that Barcode would also uh, get Mothership, so I was kind of preparing for this, you know. I wanted to get, uh, I think I want, I wanted to get Ghost, but I ended up in going Vikings. So yeah, the game just goes on, blah blah blah, you know, a lot of feed. Yeah, sure, I, I uh, attack left mostly, but that's mostly because my ally is way busy with right, with the top right, so yeah. Anyway, I see the battle cruiser, I see the mothership, and if there is any, if there ever was any unit composition to tell you to get vikings, then it's double, or uh, yeah, it's a double mothership and double battle cruiser, you know, I mean, that's just okay. worth it to get uh, vikings then. Let's we'll see if Hellhound's a bit uh, scary to attack with his uh, battle cruisers, because, well, vikings of course. Uh, yeah, oh, this is Hellhound. Like, I, I'm recording this, by the way, exactly after I, uh, exactly, just after I, uh, uh, just after I played this game, like, immediately after I played this game, when when I was uh, seeing Hellhound in lobby, I was like, yeah, this is just gonna be an, an uh, average uh, game, you know? Oh, yeah, by the way, also another fact you might want to know is Faker, he's the guy who watches my videos, so, cool guy. That's why he asked to play with me, because he, uh, saw my videos and stuff. Uh, no, you. Yeah. Hellhound has a bit of del has kind of delusions of grandeur, apparently. But I. We'll see. He'll see when he uh, sees the videos. Oh man, this is gonna be so great. I'm uh, gonna expect, like, so much B. I'm gonna expect him to rage so hard at me when he finds out that these videos have been made. But wow, this is kind of what he deserves. He just BM so hard without any reason. I'll show the after game chat as well. That's also one of the reasons I'm recording it right now, simply because I still have the chat uh, available right now to me, and if I record this later, can't show the chat anymore, and that really takes away a lot of the fun because I didn't have any chat with the previous video. Um, anyway, back to the game here. I was like, hey, juicy battle cruiser, but he's really, really uh, playing it safe with the BC, as you can see. Fog of War trying to scout a bit with one Viking. But yeah, as you can see, I'm like, yeah, I come here. And ooh, maybe, nope, didn't get it unfortunately, so yeah. Meanwhile, kind of low on mass, but hey. My ally, as you can see, doing really great. Also, I expected bottom left to be really good, but look at this. Uh, seems like top left and top right are doing fairly well. So, yeah, anyway, the game was on. I was like, uh, it was 10 minutes. I was like, yeah, I'm 800 bounty. I only have units to counter. I only have Vikings to counter bottom left. I really need something to farm with, you know. So I decided, like, hey, why not just get sentries? I mean, shouldn't be too afraid of the battle cruiser Shimato because of my Vikings. And uh, even if I do lose my sentries, it's only 150 minerals each. So, hey, why not? I always get the upgrade, which uh, uh, boosts uh, the range of the force field. It grants plus two and a half range, if I remember correctly. 
and uh, but the biggest reason I choose that upgrade is because it gives Guardian Shield uh, 30 uh, 30 percent resistance to range damage extra, <coughs> and that is a pretty damn sweet thing to have. Here I was like, yeah, me. But as you can see, how this guy Phantom, this guy with Phantoms walks in, and due to these forces, look at this engagement, all <laughs> all that money there, so good. Anyway, and at start, I focus on me only on damage. I only got a couple of damage upgrades at the start. I got uh, oh by the way, very important upgrade on the Vikings versus battle cruisers is you always want to get the Neo Steel chassis, chassis upgrade, simply because it'll deal. Uh, your attacks will have you know you will have five attacks on your uh, thing machig, and you get this ability then or passive actually, and this makes it pr this protects it for uh, from the Yamato cannon also versus snipe by the way which can come in handy. But mainly for the Yamato Cannon, this makes them almost invulnerable to the Battlecruiser and will make it very hard, or actually impossible almost, for the Battlecruiser players to attack you. So yeah, as you'll have noticed, just uh, when the Battlecruiser is at 125 energy and I didn't have this upgrade yet, I kind of dodged the Battlecruisers because, well, he could have killed my Vikings and if I'd waited a bit more I could have gotten this upgrade, which I did and everything happened nicely. Or, no, it ended. How do you say that? Uh, they live long ever after or something like that, you know? Anyway, I noticed uh, he lost one battlecruiser because he's only playing around with one now to top left, so I was sad about that. No more, no more BC food for me, and yeah. He goes, the mothership guy, as you can see, the, the mothership's roasting my marines, you know? Not very good. I needed to attack with my vikings a bit sooner there. But hey, it can happen, you know? Not the best player in the world. Uh, yeah, you got really gotta watch the one with Co-Caster Crow and Ami Hulkov because uh, that video is like a great video, in, if I say so myself. I mean, yeah, it was a great video, great Co-Casters, you know, they really know a lot more about the game than me. Or maybe not know a lot more, but they are definitely a lot better than me, you know. They have useful things, insights that I don't know, that stuff. So definitely recommend watching that. Here I landed my Vikings because like, hey, the one battle cruiser is dead and the... I'm not going to be attacking the mothership guy anytime soon, so whenever the mothership guy comes around, I'll lift my Vikings up again. But till that time, I might as well keep them landed and use them to kill ground units. And here, I see the shield from the mothership, and that gives away that there's a mothership. I uh, scan prematurely. Oh, that was an ally scan as well, by the way. Because I knew they were going to go invisible and run away, you know, so I w was prepared with that scan. <laughs> here, <laughs> I totally block him. So, say, uh, when I finally stay. Uh, Access denied. Anyway, yeah. And did he reply something? I forgot. I think he did. Oh, <laughs> that, yes. Oh, wait. Right. I thought the Hellhound replied that, but that was his ally barcode. This guy, Barco, is Grandmaster, by the way, and as far as I know, he's the only Grandmaster Barco player who also plays Marine Arena. But you really shouldn't be uh, intimidated by that Grandmaster thing because he isn't that great. He only knows, like, one build. So yeah, here I saw like, hey, the answer is, oh no, I actually saw it a bit earlier when the thing was, when there was one stalker in his army, so I decided to go like, hey, 788 minerals, why not just go phantoms? But it was blinking there, so I should have been a bit more careful with, uh, as you can see, I'm a bit uh, anxious to move out, simply because he has a lot of stalkers and can just blink and kill everything. And I really want to have, I actually ideally would have wanted to have uh, phantoms before I engage this, but meh. Top right is mostly busy with my ally, which is good. My my ally is doing terrific, by the way. I looked at his match history before the game as well, and it was pretty good. Actually, a bit too good, because his account was only like a week or two old, if I remember correctly. But he already had like two-thirds win-loss ratio, so I knew... So I know this guy is definitely a faker. As you can see uh, by his name, he's definitely like fake. Uh, this is definitely a smurf account. Don't know who or what or something, but hey, he's a nice guy. And he played good. Here I scan for the savior, and I happen to see a ghost. Because if you attack like that, you're genuinely, genuine. You always want to. If you attack right there, you really want to scan for a ghost, you know. Get the support tower here, if I remember correctly. I get some mercenary da uh, yeah, damage. Got my second health upgrade. And here he just says something which is totally bullshit. I, don't, I really don't get this. I mean, I tried to attack top right and stuff, but they're just dodging us really hard. I just now engage them right in front of their base, you know. But I guess that's typical Hellhound. I mean, when I played on my Smurf, his excuse was that, uh, what was his excuse again? I think I got fed or something. 
the game before that I only knew how to play Fester or something. He always just has an excuse. <laughs> I'll show you the after I'll show you the after game banter. It's like really funny. But actually how the game goes on centuries, you know. Nice century game by myself as well, even though I say so myself. I'm gonna just go to point into Oh yeah, I actually uh, I was typing here and as you can see I typed in ally chat which sucks if you tab once too few. You can just uh, switch, I don't know, random fact of the day, I guess. Tabs, you can switch to everything. If you go to Alt Enter, you can go to private, uh, you can uh, privately talk to someone, but it retard me that, of course, doesn't work in single player when I'm alone in the replay and there's no one else to talk to. And uh, yeah, I think Ctrl Enter always selects, uh, does ally chat or server chat in this case. But hey, as you can see by the bounty, we're doing fairly well, you know. And yeah, here I see the first glance of Immortals, but I was like, yeah, I already got my Mercenary, can't do much about it anyway. And looking at the bounty, almost, yeah, more than, less than half of my bounty, I'm not really, you shouldn't be too big a problem. I mean, Immortals are really strong, are fairly high, are really high uh, base health pool, really high base damage and stuff, just a low weapon speed. And here I was like, get wrecked, Stalker. But my ally was also there, I shouldn't uh, I didn't have to land the Viking there. Anyway, yeah. I think uh, just now I looked at the stats of my ally because I thought it was a bit too good. Here I was like, yeah. I got a, I got a support tower so I can just peek on there, you know, I can uh, attack this. I was a bit afraid of getting flanked, but hey, I got a support tower, I can mass recall if needed. And my ally is also there, so hey. And I thought Hellhound was a bit too scared to attack me. Oh, one savior. Didn't quite realize that at the time, I think. But hey. Meanwhile, getting my Chrono Boost. As always, I'm pretty lousy with my Chrono Boost. I could really, you know, Chrono Boost more. Research. But hey, here I get a health upgrade for my Marines. Yeah, at this point in time, let's just slow it down a bit. I already started teching to Marines. As you can see, I also got one armor upgrade because YOLO. Uh, I use the force shields to block the reavers, and it's really bad by uh, this guy, a reaver player, because this ability will uh, make reavers pass through force fields. Just uh, nice things to know. Here, yeah, my ally. I really like my ally, by the way. Well, that was also a reason I really liked my ally this game, is because he was also really adamant about grabbing my tower, not only his own, but also my tower. And that happens almost never. I mean, I got, I'll, I'll be really, really lucky if my ally grabs his own tower, let alone mine. So I was like really happy. Here I see these marines, I'm like, oh yeah, force field time, baby. I knew this was happening because I saw the bounty on Hellhound Rise uh, just before I went here. So I was like, hey, there's something fishy going on since there's nothing in the middle. I decided to scan there and voila, it happened. And I got stim because yeah, I thought it was time for stim. Usually I get stim pretty late in this. Eh, is I guess an okay time to get stim. I don't know. Some people like to get it like first upgrade immediately, but meh. I don't know. I'm not too eager with stim. I should get it a lot sooner than I usually do, though. Yeah, I was hoping to get a good engagement. You know, this would have been a really good concave for me if he just stood here and attacked. But Hellhound's not going to do that. May not be the best, but he's not that bad. Here, I look at these force fields just trapping them in totally. Here, I walk away because I really, in a scan, just to see if he happened to use a savior, which he didn't. And here, I see my ally just wrecking through, and I'm like, hmm, that's going pretty good. He's going to, when's he going to save here? But, nope, I'm curious, so, and I'm curious, though. Oh, they already use all their saviors. Oh, lol. So, I was like, uh, yeah, just say GG, you know. Whatever, I have no pun. Blah, this all this chat. <laughs> Always have an excuse to lose. And here it basically happens. From here on out, oh, I see here in the corner of my screen, you could, I could, you could see the, I could see the marine drops. But I was like, I don't really care. <laughs> I really didn't care at the moment there. Saw my ally. Nice, uh, nice thought of my ally trying to save it. But hey, it's just compound. I was just happy that the <laughs> bottom left lost like they did. But yeah, anyway, here it just goes on, you know, we, it was just, uh, yeah, finishing uh, the rest off. But from this point onwards, I'm pretty much AFK, because I talk a lot, I was talking a lot to, uh, to uh, Grim Reaper at the, at the time, so. Not gonna do a whole lot more, in fact. I'm only gonna take out, uh, like, one or two more engagements, where I lose my, both my sentries in one. 
And not really good. My ally is actually the one who's finishing off the rest, uh, the rest of the teams here. Here, I don't really want to engage because I didn't, didn't want to lose my sentries. But hey, yeah. So I only sent in a small army. That was actually a bit way, way too long, a small an army actually. And here, as you can see here, I'm gonna totally lose my sentries for no reason at all. Here, I was typing to Grim Reaper at this exact uh, like as soon as I'm done with this. Or it wasn't. Or it wasn't. No, never mind. It was another engagement, actually. Whoopsie, ally. Sorry. But yeah, my ally doing really great. Let's see his upgrades, by the way. Oh, maximum range, maximum weapon speed. Very nice. Does he have? Hmm. One on this upgrade, which is pretty much ideal. <coughs> then nothing really on the front of the temples he lost, but really, eh. So a shame yellow and light blue were there. Otherwise, well, this would have been a great surround on Apple. But hey, you can't have it all. I'm curious to know who this person is though, because he's definitely too good. Or there's weird stuff going on with his account. Uh, interesting upgrades. Look at this. We yeah, I already lost my sentries here, but that wasn't too exciting. So I'm just gonna focus on my Atlas camera. Let's see. Having a really nice mass. This is gonna be a very quick game. Ooh, moving in. Actually, I would save you this immediately if I were topple right. Do they have a save here? Can't, can't see. I would have saved that immediately. That's such a large mass, but, but no, they don't really have. As you can see, I'm just standing there doing not much <laughs> at all on the mini map. Now one guy leaves the game, and then my uh, this guy uh, yeah takes it all. You know, not doing too much. <laughs> I was just busy, so busy typing here, as you can see my units are just running around and not really any micro at all. Here I'm like, hmm, maybe I should retreat. But yeah, I think my ally was rather eager to finish this off. <laughs> I totally didn't uh, witness any of this of the ending actually, this new to me too, this part of the game. But yeah, not really exciting stuff, the real fun stuff starts in a bit when I'm going to show you the chat which happened, because uh, <laughs> even after the game, this guy was rude. Let's see, oh look at my ally just feeding so nicely here. He's doing really good here. Extremely good. Look at all those marines though. No savior. What is it with no saviors? How much saviors did everyone start with? I almost didn't see a single savior in the game, it feels like. Uh, two saviors, that one's fast. Anyway, yeah. Basically this was like pretty fun. Not fun if you only focus us, whatever. Whatever, I'm leaving you for. <laughs> you play like a dick. I mean, what the hell? You always, you always have an excuse, and this is where you left. Those fakers like remember my name. Mm, it really seems like a smurf thing to do to say remember my name. Anyway, here was uh, yeah. I was talking about this faker guy because he he asked me to play a game with him, and he watched my videos or something. So Hellhound remarks that he's a bit too good to just be an average schmo. Uh, who's pubs from? Yeah, a lot of pubs were leaving. It took it a small time to uh, start. Anyway, uh, you know, both of us being team and just yeah, I checked his master team bullshit. He's claimed I know this guy, but I have no clue who this guy is. <coughs> he's a smurf. Yeah, I thought he was a smurf too. Well, like, told you he's a smurf. His master is too good not to smurf, or probably. <laughs> oh yeah, and this is after the game. This is uh, uh, this like from before the game. This is after the game. <laughs> he says like, "What is fuck off?" And I'm like, "Stop being like this and stop being the I'm the one." And yeah, you should just read this for yourself. Are you are you blind? Yeah, he's one tough person to understand. Uh yeah. <laughs> I'm asking like, "Why are you so BM?" And he's like, "I'm not BM. <laughs> BM you. I'm just telling you so you're a dick." And I'm like, "What the hell, man? What the hell?" Uh, oh, that was the wrong chat. I meant to send this to send this to Grim Reaper actually, but I accidentally sent this to him. The hell and uh, uh, oh, oops. Oh, I also sent this. I I I thought I only sent this one to Hellhound, and this, and I totally forgot. I didn't realize this one was also sent to Hellhound. I thought these both were sent to Grim Reaper. Whoopsie, you're talking to me, idiot. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Whoopsie, yeah, you pussy tailor. Who are you talking to? And I was like, ah, Grim Reaper. I seriously doubt Hellhound pound this guy. And um <laughs> and I'm <laughs> and he's like what this is all about and I'm like, ah oh, you'll see. And then what will I see? Nah, nothing at all. 
But uh, yeah, this was a great game, you know. This is gonna be the third game in a row where I stomp this guy. Oh man, looking forward. This guy's just like. Man, I didn't realize uh, Hellhound was like this. In MGR, he was way uh, less BM, but now he joined this renegade clan, so they say. Kind of a weird clan, but. But uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. It's kind of a weird, weird clan. But yeah, let me know what you guys think below from the uh, in below what you think of these kinds of games because I really seriously enjoy them. You know, <laughs> it's so fun. When, it's like I really love it when people BM me and I just wreck them hard. But this game was really a super hard stomp as well. Uh, anyways, yeah, let me know and I'll see you guys later.